Look who finally woke up. I hope you found that sarcophagus comfortable. <sighs> What's wrong? You're making a face as if every bone hurts. Well, who are you? You can't be a member of the Elysian Order. Stand on. So you serve that scheming god of righteousness? That would explain your downfall. Did you kill a beggar and take his clothes? Or did you use an innocent child for a shield? It's enough to end up here. You swam in the blood of others, didn't you? Blood on your hands is proof enough. The usual fools, climbing from sarcophagus every day. I don't remember all of them. No, wait. There's another one, who's still alive like you. I believe he was a slave trader, but his eyes burned like fire. Yours are as cold as ice. Don't know, and I don't care. Probably at the top of the tower, in the center of the Imperial City. But why do you want to know? You'd better not ask him for a favor, believe me. You'll just end up like the ones outside. Praying to the divines is useless too. The Elysian Order burned all their priests and servants. Well, that's madness. No mortal can do this. He's a playwright of this tragedy, and we're all just his puppets. Join the wind. It reminds me of the old days when I was still young. I had a go in those days, but now I have nothing. My road is blocked and I can't see the light anymore. It appeared around 200 years ago and has been illuminating this place since then. In the past, this was a dark and gloomy place. I don't know the details. The Inquisitor in the Priory should know more. He seems like he's been here for a long time already. For about four or five hundred years, I died in Vanua, and Moloch Baal stole a part of my soul. I've been tied to this place ever since. Molag Bal robs the person even of the peace of their death, and the suffering then lasts forever.
I'm looking for my family's graves, but I can't find them. Would you really? The names on them are Johan, Simon, and Plas. Please tell me if you find them. Swine, or should I tear you apart? Did the mighty Vigilant also end up in oblivion? What an irony. So what will it be? I hope you have enough gold for shopping and please refrain from this so-called mercy of yours. I got infected with a mutated Thracian plague. All thanks to you. Every day is full of pain because of you. I'm really grateful to Stendar, damn bastard. first encounter, Vena. The sky, the, the sky was red, like here. Giovanni is glad to see you again. Stupid Marso, to steal the heart of Campanera, he borrowed power from Molag Ball. This form was the price. His soul was twisted, turned into a beast. Giovanni will also become like this. They were infested with leech parasites. They spread the plague, but Giovanni is alright because he does not drink dirty water.
Oh, are you freeing me? I don't even know what happened that I ended up trapped here. What a rotten luck. Oh, hmm, I don't quite remember. There was something about a slave trader and cheap booms. Hmm, when I woke up again, he was no longer here. Oh, what a bastard to lock me up in this home. Newcomer, you're so full of life. Avoid him. What kind of person spends all their time talking to a corpse? But even for madmen like him, there is still something like inner peace. He's not quite at peace though, but you should still not disturb him. A flying Daedrith? How can he even fly with such an unshapely body? Vigilance. Weaklings like you? One such tried his luck with the flying worm a while ago. Some screaming was heard, and then... nothing. If you don't want to meet the same end, you should learn your place in this world. Come, Vigilant of Stendar. Once again, my name is Vernakis. I am the Bane of Kain! You humiliated me before, but now I will repay you a hundredfold!
So, you defeated Vernakis. Well, you're stronger than you look. Thank you for killing the worm. I can finally enjoy my wash again. I told you, I'm on a walk. An old man should be allowed this much. This is the territory of Lord Varla. If we don't want to become food for his dogs, avoid the fortress to the east and go north. He's a knight. He made a name for himself with the cleansing of Malata. But his mind is twisted, broken. He's now hunting humans with his dogs. After he ended up here, he swore allegiance to more like Val. He was allowed to keep his human form, and he even got his own territory. Be careful around him. The main gate is to the north. But it's been sealed since the invasion of the Army of Order. There is a way, though. To the northeast of the island, there is a large sewer leading to the prison tower in the city. You may want to try crawling through it. If you're lucky, it will lead you to the Imperial City. If you're lucky. An infinite army, led by Jigalog. It invaded a few decades ago and began conquering the entire continent. Almost the entire empire was absorbed and destroyed by Jigalog. After the defeat in the Battle of Wei, only this island with the Imperial City remained. Countless souls have been sacrificed to maintain the barrier. But even the souls have limits. And more like Val's power is declining. The barrier will not last much longer. Then, Greymarch will overrun the Swaceland and crush us all. Jigalog manifested there at the height of the battle. A brilliant silver cocoon appeared and evaporated everyone around it, regardless whether they were a friend or a foe. Its light was dazzling. It was so beautiful, as if we suddenly stepped into Ethereus. Even I shed tears at that sight. Anyway, most of our higher nobility perished in that light. Only incompetents like Vernakis and Nukuata remained. <sighs> All this reminds me of the last days of the Elysian Empire. There was no winner. Only ruins remained.
And you also defeated the worm. Seems I was mistaken about you. I heard rumors he's insane. A half-breed of a human and an elf. He hunted elves at first and then finally humans. He was neither one or the other because of his blood. That's why he went mad. It's a pity, really. When I saw you walking around, I wanted to travel again. It's better than staying in one place and waiting to rot there. Thank you for killing the worm. I can finally enjoy my wash again. I told you, I'm on a walk. An old man should be allowed this much. This is the territory of Lord Varla. If you don't want to become food for his dogs, avoid the fortress to the east and go north. He's a knight, who made a name for himself with the cleansing of Malada. But his mind is twisted, broken. He's now hunting humans with his dogs. After he ended up here, he swore allegiance to more like Val. He was allowed to keep his human form, and he even got his own territory. Be careful around him. The main gate is to the north, but it's been sealed since the invasion of the Army of Order. There is a way, though. To the northeast of the island, there is a large sewer leading to the prison tower in the city. You may want to try crawling through it. If you're lucky, it will lead you to the Imperial City. If you're lucky. An infinite army, led by Jigalog. It invaded a few decades ago, and began conquering the entire continent. Almost the entire empire was absorbed and destroyed by Jigalog. After the defeat in the Battle of Wei, only this island with the Imperial City remained. Countless souls have been sacrificed to maintain the barrier. But even the souls have limits. And more like Baal's power is declining. The barrier will not last much longer. Then, Grey March will overrun the Swaceland and crush us all. Jigalog manifested there at the height of the battle. A brilliant silver cocoon appeared and evaporated everyone around it, regardless whether they were a friend or a foe. Its light was dazzling. It was so beautiful, as if we suddenly stepped into Ethereus. Even I shed tears at that sight. Anyway, most of our higher nobility perished in that light. Only incompetents like Vernakis and Nukuata remained. <sighs> All this reminds me of the last days of the Elysian Empire. There was no winner. Only ruins remained. And you also defeated the worm. Seems I was mistaken about you. I heard rumors he's insane. A half-breed of a human and an elf. He hunted elves at first and then finally humans. He was neither one or the other because of his blood. That's why he went mad. It's a pity, really. When I saw you walking around, I wanted to travel again. It's better than staying in one place and waiting to rot there. <laughs> <laughs> 